Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I will show you how to add a page number with different page numbering format. Now before that, I'm going to enable two page view under the three dots menu. Okay, there you go. Now under three dots menu, you can easily detect anything's wrong with your title. Okay, how to disable it? You choose screen view under the same three dots menu. Again, over right hand corner, upper right hand corner. Okay, I'm going to use two page view throughout the whole video. Now two page view and also navigator enable me to detect any things wrong with my formatting. So you see my cover page earlier. Now next, I'm going to change the font type for all the throughout the whole document. You select the text and then you look for the correct font type and remember later, go back and update the body. Press update. There you go. So all the body will have the same font type. Now next, you go to the three dots menu again, look for document option and look for document setup here. Okay, Doc, uh, document setup. Then there are two tabs up here section that I'm, I'm going to talk about later but for now in this page make sure you have enable footer and header so that you can add a page number okay you can enable it and then underneath there there's a more option look for more option there you go here you can change the margin for your footer header and also your body text so how far away from the a4 paper size based on your school okay some school wants it to be 2 cm, some school want it to be 1 and a quarter cm. Okay, left and right, top and bottom. You just need to check with your school what's the requirement. Okay, um, maybe I'll set it 1.5 or 2 cm. Okay, and then once you are satisfied with the uh, margin, then you can click on the uh, header. Here, there are a few ways to add uh, insert page number. Okay, it's one way. Another way, it's uh, look for, press on the right hand side and insert, you have more option to insert or over the right hand side down here, there you go. You can actually choose uh, more option like for example, page number or date and time. Okay, I'm going to choose one, choose this one. And then um, if it's first time watching our video, can you subscribe to my channel, City Boy Liu. Next, I'm going to show you how you can change the font type. Now, here, just now, you cannot just type a number there and you thought you have added the page number. It doesn't work that way because there are some program running behind the shortcut key earlier. So you're going to use this method. And remember to update the font type here for the header and footer. Okay, make sure you press the update. You can change your size and update the header and footer format so that you apply across all pages. You do not need to change it page by page. Once you have satisfied with the margin and the font type for your header and footer, you press done over the upper left hand corner. Now, next, now you see here, my footer and header will have the same page numbering format. Now, if I want it to be different, okay, I want to have different formatting. So what you do is, you go to the last line and you press insert and then you look for section break okay now alternatively you press backspace press this uh, add button and look for section break okay section break you must add a section break so that now you have one section here this is a new section now the you realize the footer page number changes so i want it to be to have different page numbering format okay Upper right hand corner, three dots, page setup, and then look for section. Okay, there you go. Then here, page numbering. You may want to hide from the first page or not, it's up to you. I want you to look at page numbering. Select page numbering. Here you can choose different format. You want to start at one, two, or you continue from previous. Let's choose a different formatting now. And there you go. So you have page number by using different page numbering format, okay? What you need to do, you need to add a section in your document, not page break, okay, section. Remember to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you get notified when I upload new video. That's all from me, thank you.